Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie bit my finger instead. Okay, hello, evening, afternoon, whenever it is, everybody. Um, I'm on my new squirrel permission this afternoon. It's Sunday the 6th of October, about just after four o'clock. I've come for the last few hours of daylight. Um, it's a it's a uh, country house farm or farmhouse um, with a lawn with some protected trees. So once the squirrel's gone, also the farmers asked me if there's any wood pigeons or corvids to take them out if I see any because of his obviously arable land and he's got some sheep as well. So he wants uh, those taken care of. So I've set my squirrel feeder up as you can see on that tree. Um, it's been up about two weeks now and uh, I've filled it up on Thursday evening and I come today and it's three quarters empty so they're definitely on it so hopefully we'll get one or two or maybe three or four or whatever um, see how we go the kit I'm using tonight is well, this afternoon is the Impact JSB Hades Excite 4K Shooting off my sticks in my hide over there. I've noticed a few pigeons come and go from that tree, so maybe if one or two drop in, we'll get them. Um, see how we get on. Okay, speak to you soon. Okay, if you look to my right, you'll see that window in the hide, and I'm sat there concentrating on the feeder ready for the first squirrel and I just happened to glance to my right out of the little window and there's one on the grass burying his nuts so I kept my eye on him followed him up the tree just waiting for him to sit still he's only about 15 yards away the gun zeroed at 20 so I just hold it slightly under and out the tree drops nice clean headshot you can see the blood running down and down he goes bit of bouncing and kicking and it's all over so about an hour later I finally spot one in the top of the tree where the feeder is and then I lose sight of him again I know he's up there I'm just waiting for him to either come down or appear from the other side you know what they're like they'll run down the opposite side of a tree and then come round I'm pretty sure there's a nest in that tree to be honest because I've seen a few coming and going on the last few visits uh, when I've been setting the feeder up and that they seem to go in that tree and not come out so there could well be a nest in there and there he is it's finally appeared so I know where he's going so I'll let him get there as you can see the feeders all nicely filled up ready I chucked a few peanuts on each side as well for him to grab pick one up between the eyes and it's all over straight through to the brain with the Hades no problem there bit of kicking and bouncing and then it's all over that's just the spine reacting to the brain being severed from it that's why the front legs don't move and the next one I can hear a chattering and a chuttering in the tree next to me the barking you've seen the one on the floor so this is out the side window again looking slightly forward say again about 15 meters so it sits nice and still so I'll take him and another one bites the dust so three squirrels not bad really for my first visit and if just for a couple of hours I didn't get it till 4 and it starts getting dark at 6.30 so got three in the bag I filled the feeder up before I left make sure it was all done I'll give it another week and see how it's gone on. The owner's going to keep an eye on it for me. 
that's a good start hopefully it'll be, get a bit easier over the winter months when there's less natural food about but the peanuts still draw them in so that's those three with my impact he was happy anyway okay if you enjoyed that like subscribe and share and see you next time bye for now